The build we'll be using has Heart of Inmost Light as the exotic, double bomber on your mark, and whatever other armor pieces you need to get to max resilience and fairly high discipline. Class-wise, we're on Behemoth, with the Glacier Grenade and Towering Barricade. Howl of the Storm and Tectonic Harvest will be the two aspects, and the fragments are Shards, Chains, Rhyme, and either Fissures or Conduction. I personally use Conduction, but either is a good pick. Whatever weapons you use should be good for dueling or have a charge time to take full advantage of the overshield you'll constantly have. Weapons like DMT, 120 hand cannons, or SMGs are all good options. This build becomes significantly more effective if your teammates are also using stasis with Whisper of Rhyme or a melee-centric build like Kefri Sting. This build is most effective in 3 vs 3 game modes like Trials of Survival. You want to use this build on a map with small areas and enclosed entry points. Maps like Twilight Gap, Anomaly, or Cauldron are some really good ones. This build can certainly be used to great effectiveness in other areas, but on maps like Widow's Court or Altar of Flame, it starts to become ineffective. To use this build properly, you want to dictate how and when every engagement starts. Open every engagement with a Glacier Grenade or Howl, and use your Barricade to shatter the crystals. Be sure you are right up against the crystals, or you might fail to shatter them and trap yourself. Using your Grenade or Barricade will give you the perk Empowered for 10 seconds. Empowered increases the regeneration rate of the other two abilities. Your melee ability in either form will not proc Empowered unless you deal damage to a Guardian by hitting them with the standard melee, freezing somebody with Howl, or if you deal damage with the Crystal Shatter. With all of the regeneration abilities stacking, you get your abilities ridiculously fast. Your best options are to spam abilities until you get a free kill, or to get max overshield and find a 1v1 you can win. Howl of the Storm is ridiculously versatile and can be used in many situations. I made a short video over it if you want a more in-depth explanation. To be effective with the melee, you now need to tap the button instead of holding it unless you want a directional change. Your Behemoth Super is now a defensive and zoning super. If you aid with it, you're probably going to die. Use its absurd duration to your advantage. Like, comment, sub. Here's the Twitch. See you next time.